The London Coffee Information Centre held an exhibition of 18 coffee tables, also in 1984, where self-taught Johnny Hawkes showed his adventurous stack laminated glass tables. John Makepeace put in a stunning barley twist turn table in limed oak with a slate top. The process involves heating the material in steam, bending it round the mould with a strap on the outside of it to stop it uh, stretching, in fact. Um, this process not only gives you a bend, it seasons the timber at the same time. On something that's carved as much as the shell box, it doesn't really matter about uh, whether things are dead perfect, as long as everything fits together. However, the choice of society had got into full swing, and the bespoke furniture being created expressed this in its variety and self-expression. The quiet underground revolution of designer makers was expanding, and what started as a handful of workshops in the 70s probably turned into hundreds by the end of the 90s. Lots of little squares of end grain all glued together, and a beautiful, uh, highly precise uh, tray that fits in. This is made by Robert Ingham, one of our members. And look at the way that glides down. It's, it's poetry in motion. Transform or penny room, you will see the work of designers who set up their workshops in the 60s and 70s. Starting off with Alan Peters, uh, who was really a direct link with the arts and crafts movement. Uh, he trained with Edward Barnes. I also had trouble finding some really good uh, timbers. And the got um, tulip wood, saffron wood, rosewood, and uh, this is purple heart, which should eventually go lighter with age. Fred decided he wanted to be a furniture maker in his mid-teens and trained at Canterbury, Birmingham and then the Royal College of Art. At one time he was a shuttering carpenter on the newly formed M6 motorway, so I guess he was used to working with plywood. Ago. Had this piece been designed by IKEA, no doubt biscuit joints would have been used. But this intricate joint is immensely strong, avoiding the need for under rails, and just reveals a plain mitre at the surface of the joint. But who would know what joint it is by merely looking at it? Joseph Walsh exhibited several immaculately crafted sculptural chairs and tables. He describes his work as an uncharted path guided only by the sensitive use of materials, excellence in making, and my constant search for purity of form. I think the main um, uh, uh, appeal to it is they're actually in a beautiful woodland setting. Um, they're, they're working at their own speed. Um, they're getting on with doing what they're doing. I mean, occasionally I'll come round and sort of help them um, if they need any help, or show them a different different way of doing it, and they just. Just, they're just getting on and doing their own things. Uh, I think the only common trend is that it's all a bit well made, I suppose, like not a good one. But I don't think that should put you up. It's, that's more about a commitment to an idea or clarity of expression. When one of our artists had to organise the exhibition um, last year, I didn't know anything about furniture. Ah, what was that about not knowing anything about furniture? music to my ears as it encourages me to complete this marathon project as I was beginning to fear that by the time I finished it everybody would already know what contemporary furniture is all about.